Here you go, JR and Bros. Uh, I'm gonna do a short one here. Just maybe get your opinion on some stuff. Let's see, I got the whole side cut off. Debating how far I'm gonna go with reinforcement. I'll go into that a little bit, but let me show you what the first. I've already seen the other design. Let's see the chalk, you can understand that. I'm gonna do the same thing. Have a piece going this way. And then I think I'll have one going this way, one going this way, one going this way, and one going this way. Won't be anything here too much because the problem is that's where the bolt for the bolt hole for the the rear controller. Well I think I will do since I got a big space here but just a little one here uh, top and bottom. I'll put a piece going across the bolt real close here and probably one laying down flat welding these two pieces together so I'm going and weld that way which I think that's probably a good idea. Maybe it almost be another good idea to put one up here before I put that H piece in, but you can give me your opinion on that. And then I'll just one whole piece along this edge, or in a little bit, so I can weld it to all the way down, fill all these holes so that you don't see nothing inside. And the question is, you can see that pipe up there I got going through the, I plan on doing this through a lot of the body bolts two reasons plus that the frame horns will go on this and I'm gonna have it butt up against that and weld it here. Uh, part of the reason I'm doing this what I'm thinking about doing is like putting a, a washer inside this. The problem is when you're you see the frames angled so when you're trying to tighten a bolt to something like that you know you can't get a good grip. So I'm thinking about is welding washers inside pieces of tubing really good the best I can. So that way my all thread nuts and that have something flat to bolt against and then maybe to hide it I'll run the all thread out with a piece of metal matching that angle on a nut just that way they don't see the pipe in there but uh, going back to that I got the pieces for these, these holes are about two and a quarter so I've got two and a quarter inch thick pipe well the reason I'm doing the pipe too is you know, that'll go up and down in here, plus it'll give me something to weld this piece in all the way to practically up to there. But my question is here, where to stop? I'm thinking about stopping here, because the other idea I had was trying to hide a piece of all thread with maybe another piece of pipe going here and then a short reinforcement going here. Uh, I don't have a car here, which kind of sucks to know where to stop it. I don't want to go too far, because I want this to be able to bench, so it's not too suspicious. Plus, also, if you look at the length of that, even with all that steel in it, that's a lot of that's a lot of length to try and not make bend. More than likely, what would happen if it did start to bend, it would go down with all that steel in it. Something about leaving it here and letting it roll up would be to that point. Which you know, if it really smashed, I guess it'd be that far. But I don't know. The other idea on which I'll give you some information if you're ever lucky enough to find these cars. Um, well, because what I'm thinking about is this car front wise up to here doesn't bend. I'm thinking about I could probably just keep changing the bodies and maybe just whacking these frame rails off, getting some new pieces and putting them on there. Because the thing is, these cars, this is a 76 Impala. You can stick these frames under every Chevy Impala Caprice and practically every Pontiac Oldsmobile of the same body size from 71 to 76. All you have to do is, you see how these stick up? They have special indentations in the trunk floor to cover that, but what the guys just do is they just cut it out, you know, and just cut a hole out. And if you want to hide it, put sheet metal, but otherwise you can put a 71 Impala on this frame, no problem. So I'm thinking, you know, if all goes right, this car may last forever practically. Just keep swapping the bodies out. So let me know what you think about where I should stop it. The second idea was to stop it here. One thing I'm a little worried about is if I stop it here, let's say it starts bending and folding and breaks off, then you might be able to see what's in there. So I don't know, it's up to you. I guess that would, would technically be over there if I stop it there as opposed to here. Without having the body, you kind of wonder where that is. I think the here, I think the here that'd be practically where, I think the rear tire would stop around here. So. I don't know. It won't really matter. But I'm only thinking about this. This is mostly going to be. This isn't going to be used as at all for a weapon much. But I'm sure this is where a lot of people are going to hit me. 
and part of my sneakiness about doing this is they'll hit it and think the car, oh, that car bends, but you know, none of this is going to bend. And then I'll just, and plus it's a lot easier driving forward, so while they're attacking the ass end, if they manage to do that, then all I have to do is turn around and waylay them. So, yeah, let me know what you think about stopping it. And I'll talk to you guys later.